guys. Um, I decided to do something slightly interesting and make a video about myself because I know my last year kind of sucked. So, um, I actually, right in fact, just went out to my car to grab something from it and it's like 11.51, it's almost midnight. And, um, my car, like, I have to park it on the road because I live right beside the dentist and we just have, like, one big driveway and we, like, we share it or whatever and so I usually just park on the road because he's there during the day and then I don't, whatever, I don't get parked in. And, um, so I parked on the road but I parked farther up than I normally do and so when I went out to my car, there's a, there was another car, like, parked right in front of my road, like, right in front of my house or whatever. And, um... I walked out, and like, it's not even close to the same car as mine, like I have a, a blue, like a teal Cavalier, and I don't even know what kind of car theirs is, but theirs is like square, and mine's not, whatever, and um, so I went out there, and I had my keys, and it was dark, and I went up to their car, and I almost put my key in, and I was like, oh wait, this isn't my car, and I went down to my car, and I was like, wow. So then I was going back up to the house and like I was running because I'm terrified to be like outside alone after like a certain time because I don't know. I like I don't even live in a crappy neighborhood or a crappy town. I mean like a scary town for that matter but whew. Alrighty. Um, so I figured I'd start this off with a... Uh... Okay I didn't figure I'd start it off with anything. but. I'll start off with, I am the only one in my family with blue eyes, and everybody else in my family has dark brown eyes and dark brown hair, so, and this is, this is natural, this is strawberry blonde, I know my camera's crappy quality, and my lips look blue as well, but, whatever, uh, my brother and sister both have dark brown eyes and brown hair, and my mom and dad both do, um, I have really small hands, like, I don't think you can tell, but I have really small hands, like, I don't know. So I can't, like when I play Guitar Hero, <laughs> I always skip the orange button because um, I can't reach it with my pinky and when I move my fingers down, I it takes too long to move them back up, so but I don't know. I, I'm i really good at Guitar Hero until it comes to the orange, orange button and then I suck. Um, but I do play tenor saxophone and I play really well. That's all I really have on that. I've been playing it since 8th grade, I think. I'm a hypochondriac, if you don't know what that is, look it up because I don't feel like explaining it, sorry. I'm terrified that if I'm mean to people or if I do something bad, then something bad will happen to me. So I kind of just try to refrain from doing anything bad, I guess. I don't know. Um, I get chronic migraines and I've actually been getting them since I was, I don't know, since like middle school, I think. Um, but I just went to the doctor for them this year because I'm a hypochondriac and when I went I was too afraid to go to the doctor because I was too afraid they'd be like, you have a brain tumor. So I did go to the doctor and they gave me migraine medicine but I usually get three to five of them a week right now and so we're working on that because I get really sick when I have migraines and that's just not fun at all. Um, I've had a job since I was 14. Uh, when I was 14 I started working at Subway. And then I quit when I was 17 and I got a job at the Lutheran home, which is a nursing home. I was a housekeeper there. And I only worked there for like six months because that was a really crappy job. And I worked like 5.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. And, or 6 a.m., whatever. 5.30 a.m. to like 2.30 or something. It was crappy. And my grandma went in there when I was working there and I didn't, I don't know. It was just not a good situation. So then I got a job at um, the subway across town uh, pilot, which is a... Uh, truck stop. It's a, yeah, it's a truck stop, and it's got a subway in it. It's a different subway than what I worked at before, so I worked there for, like, seven months until they illegally fired me, which I'm not even going to go into that story. They illegally fired me. I didn't do anything about it because I didn't want that crappy job back anyway, but basically, I did absolutely nothing wrong. They just stopped putting me on the schedule, so. Um, and now I work for Hope Services. It's a I work at a group home for mentally challenged adults, and I um, help them like with everyday living skills and stuff. I teach them, help teach them things. Um, I was terrified to stay at anyone's house until I was 15. 
I don't know why I was just too scared to, I guess. I don't know. And then once I started staying at somebody's house, I stayed there like every single night, like for that whole summer that I started staying at, at her house. Uh, it's actually my best friend. Um, every single summer, or like after that, I stayed at her house like every single night. It was ridiculous. Um, I have a tattoo right here, which you can see it a lot better if I go like this, but you can't see it. I mean, like, if I extend my hand or whatever, it says Let It Be, like, the Beatles song, I guess. It has more meaning behind that, but this video is already going to be really long, so I don't feel like explaining it, so if you want to know, ask me, and I will explain it to you. Um, I hate chocolate. I do not like chocolate at all. And I know that makes me a freak, but I do not like chocolate. It's... Oh, I don't know. I hate it. I hate abbreviations. I don't know. I don't like the IDK, the internet abbreviations especially. I found out that I was different in kindergarten when we had letter people. I don't know if anybody else actually had letter people, but I know that we had letter people. And uh, every like week we'd get a new letter person or something, and we would have to go and find them. They were somewhere in the school, and we'd have to go and find them. And, um, at the end of it, when we found all the letter people and they were all around the room, we had to draw our favorite letter person. And it didn't have to be like a certain letter person, it could be any letter person at all. And I was, <laughs> I was, we were going through our, um, folders this year for college comp because we had to make a portfolio, a senior portfolio or whatever. And, um, we were going through our folders and I drew G as my favorite letter person. But everybody else, they were like, Oh, look what I did, look look which letter person I picked, and it was always the first letter of the name, and I picked G, and my name obviously doesn't start with a G. So then I got called a freak, but whatever. It was cool. Um, <clears throat> I do not look 18, I will actually be 19 in two months, but I do not look 18, and I get ID'd all the time for, I mean, like, I don't, like, I don't buy cigarettes or anything, but, like, when I go to Walmart, because a lot of times I buy, like, spray paint or whatever for my brother, because he likes uh, to spray paint things. They're like, are you 18? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, well, can I see your ID? And I'm like, okay. But I know you can't really see it at all. But it says my birthday is September 22nd, 1989. That would make me 18 going on 19. I also have a debit card, which at this bank, you can't get a debit card unless you are 18. So, proof. One of my favorite shows is Roseanne. And it was just on like 20 minutes ago. I've seen every episode at least twice, but I used to stay up late watching Roseanne, because I'm a freak. Um, I read a ridiculous amount of books I've been reading since preschool. I used to stay inside. I would not eat my lunch, like I wouldn't eat all of my lunch at preschool so that I could stay inside at recess and read, because that was the punishment, only it wasn't really a punishment for me. I was, I don't know, I've been reading ever since then. I have, I've had a really high reading level my whole life, but I always thought, I don't know, I'm seriously, I'm not that weird now. I'm not that much of a freak now. But I tie my, I also, I tie my shoes differently than everybody. I, I can't even tie them the normal way. My sister taught me to tie my shoes when I was little because I learned around the time my brother was born, or like really soon after that. And so my mom didn't have time to teach me. So my sister, and she doesn't even tie her shoes this way anymore. I take like the two, like uh, knots or whatever, and I make bunny ears with them, and that's how I tie them. And I don't know anybody else that ties her shoes like that. I have insanely big hair, like obviously not right now, but my hair, if I don't straighten it, is so curly. Like, I'll show you a picture of it. Um, it's huge. Like I have a huge hair when I don't straighten it. And, um, people are like, well, why don't you just leave it curly here or something? Because it's so thick, and even when you thin it out, it's, I will show you, it's so big. Like, when I blow dry it, like, before I straighten it, it is so bad. Um, and last, I spend a lot of money. Not, I, like, I don't spend any, like, anything expensive, and actually, the money that I spend, I use everything I spend, like, the money on, but I, like, I don't always need what I spend my money on, and... It's, I don't know, I just, I spend way too much money, and you would think that if I've been working that long, I would have so much saved up, and I really don't. I have, like, $30 in my checking account right now. It is so bad. So, <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm working on that. I'm actually a lot better than I used to be. 
But other than that, I don't really have anything. <laughs> this is a really long video, so I'm going to have to edit a lot of it. So, I think that's it. Um, I will catch you guys later. Bye.